welcome to my channel. I'm the Soul Teacher and I'm here today to do your August reading. I'm sorry that I was so quiet. Um, I've had a bit of a rough few weeks. So yeah, it's um, it's been busy and the energies have been crazy. I've been traveling a lot. So yes, I'm sorry and I'll, I'll um, I'm definitely going to try to get your readings out more regularly from now on. I've also got quite a few new ideas that I want to do, videos that I want to do, specific readings that I want to do that I think would be fun and informative. So I just want to, there we go, it feels like I'm in competition with the music. Um, <clears throat> we've got the Lions Gate portal coming up um, and it's the, the peak of energy is the 8th of August. It's a Syrian portal where we're going to receive a um, lot of new knowledge and a lot of um, things that, that was hidden that's going to come out now and um, revealed and we're going to get activations and um, new DNA activations, new light codes coming in. It's, it's I, I feel because of how 2020 has been handling us. Um, that we this is going to be quite a, 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 a powerful portal so yes I'm quite interested to see what is coming out in your reading I've done half of the I've done the fire signs and the air signs already and all of them are really really powerful and I do see like what I normally see is a string of things something specific that that strings through all the readings with this portal, however, and for, for the month of August, I can't really think that there's, there's two, there's, there's, I don't think there's a lot of things that um, the different signs has got in common, except for, I think it was Sagittarius and I think Aquarius, that the, the readings were very similar, or it was Gemini, I'm, I'm not sure. But what's interesting for me with this, this portal coming in now is that specifically it's not the same for all the signs there's not that one common denominator so it's interesting but without further ado um let's get into your reading virgo thank you spirits and angels for your guidance please can we have one card for overall energies for virgo for the lion's gate portal for august 2020 please the Lion's Gate Portal, August 2020. A very, very strong energy just came in, Virgo. So that's interesting. Warrior woman, have you answered your deepest calling? Now, please understand that um, these are energies. It's not gender, gender specific. So if you're a man watching this reading, um, the warrior woman is your feminine, your, your inner feminine. Remember, we all have feminine and masculine energies inside of us. So this, this is your deepest calling would come from the warrior woman instead of the warrior man, right? Because that's more the intuitive side. Um, that's, that's where you hear your calling. The masculine side would be where you take action on it. So this, this Virgo for you is, have you answered your deepest calling? So if you don't even know what your deepest calling is, it's really time for you to go inwards and go see what it is that you're here to do. Thank you, spirits and angels for your guidance. Please, can we have one ascended master that Virgo can work with for the month of August? One Ascended Master that Virgo can work with for the month of August, please. Ooh, come on. <laughs> sticky, sticky. Okay, that's an interesting cut. Krishna, devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. And it's very interesting that this comes out with the warrior woman, right? It's your deepest calling. Um, and this says to trust your spiritual guidance. So... It sounds like you you know what your calling is, Virgo. You've, you've heard the calling, but have you answered it? Because you've been spiritually guided to your calling, but now that you've heard it, um, do you trust it? Or do you maybe think that um, what whatever you heard is not really what was being said because it might be a bit big for you? That's normally the case. 
Thank you, spirits and angels, for your guidance. Please, can we have the energies that Virgo would be working with for the month of August? Please give us the energies that Virgo will be working with for the month of August. Transformation. Interesting. I have decided to um, change the readings up a bit. So, um, <laughs> I don't think you're ever going to... Oh, this is too many. I don't think you're ever going to see the same reading from me again. Because um, I've kind of decided Spirit will tell me exactly what to do. I don't like to plan these kind of things. Because um, I feel it's in my energy that goes into it and not the energies that you need to be aware of. Rest and rejuvenate. Passion ignited. What does it say? Partnerships and alliances. That's cool. Third eye chakra and spiritual union. Oh my goodness, Virgo. Wow. Okay. I didn't expect that. Goodness. Oh, and look, it's under passion ignited. Rest and, rejuven and rejuvenate. See how the, med the meditative pose is right here by the third eye chakra. Your spiritual guidance, have you answered your deepest calling? So you are being called, Virgo, this month um, to use your intuition to get to the spiritual union because this is the outcome of your reading. Okay, so what we're going to do here is <clears throat> I'm going to draw two cards for every card that's here on the board just to put some meat on it and to see what it is that Spirit really wants to tell us about all of this. Wow. Guys, this... Sure, this is quite big, eh? Spiritual union. Wow. Okay. Let's see what spirit has to say. Again, a very interesting cut because normally it cuts like halfway through the deck, and with with I think this deck and now this one, it, it only cut like a quarter in. It's interesting. Okay. What? The sun and guys, this is this is the lion lion's portal that that's opening up. It's this is a, the the card of Leo. This is the happiest card in the in the deck. Um, this trumps every other card on here, even that because that you know. See, oh my goodness, this is beautiful. <gasps> okay, so you probably already know this partner of yours. <laughs> Healing, <gasps> magician. Wow, the Fool, Queen of Cups, Eight of Cups, the Wheel, Nine of Swords, what? Ten of Pentacles, <gasps> Ace of Wands, what? Virgo, wow, <laughs> oh my goodness, wow, this this is amazing. This this is amazing. This is amazing. I, I cannot... Wow. Okay. Let's get into this. So, you are being transformed this month. Now, notice that there's a one and a three. That, that comes to a four. A four is all about foundation and um, it's about um, stability and... All of those beautiful things that you want to build on and this is the Sun this is just like this is enlightenment um, this is also um, a masculine energy um, this is also balance if you if you look closely um, and this is this deck um, shows it the best for me see that it's a little white boy and a little um, black boy so it's like perfect balance it's perfect yin yang see how they're holding hands and the golden cover the the, the golden that covers them and the the golden um like little what do you call it i can't get to the word right now but it's like it's it's all golden it's enlightenment it's truth it's balance it's beauty it's happiness look at these kids faces you can just see how happy they are. Look at the sun. Everything is just so happy. See those kind eyes. So this transformation is bringing you into a place where you can look back at the past. See these kids as well? They're happy. 
see how happy they are they look they look they're looking back into the past and they yes it's been hard and yes it's been bad but instead of looking back into the past with with sadness and mistrust and fear you can now being transformed you can now look back and look at the happy things and be happy about them because you've healed partnerships and alliances you've already met this person you know who this person is or maybe you just you've, you've just met this person so this person helped you to heal helped you bring balance helped you to get your wishes come true and has made you into this transformation has made you into the magician the person that's got all the tools to manifest anything and everything that you want in your life and this alliance helped to get it there see it's it's a man and a woman it's not just any alliance or any partnership this is this is the spiritual union that that the cards are talking about now looking at this rest and rejuvenation and um, I'm going to read this differently because of the fact that it's right above the third eye chakra I feel that this is you going inwards um, sorting out to see this there's, there's another four it's another transformative and this is a three and this is a four and it, it's like directly goes on to it builds onto the next card what's the third eye chakra number six okay um four and a six is a one is a new beginning and there's the fool which is a zero so it's bringing you to that point where you can jump and and not worry if you if there's someone there or not because there will be this is where you are going inwards this is where you meditate and this is where you will be shown you are ready to make this jump and it will take you to your queen of cups you what I feel is with you going inwards that you are the king of cups and this will bring you to your queen of cups to show you what it is that you need to bring you to your happy ending the third eye chakra the meditative thing the the eight of cups this is this is deciding to do things differently this is walking away from the past walking away from situations that that bothered you that hurt you this is you walking away from the sadness of the past and deciding to instead of seeing the sadness and the pain and the heartbreak to see the happiness and the good in it and use the rest to just make the rest of your life better and by doing this you are able to tell the universe take the wheel universe take the wheel i trust you because i'm doing things differently i'm walking away from the stuff that doesn't serve me any longer and that brings you to passion ignited you are done you are done being stuck in your mind you are done your passion is ignited you you've come out of this the eight of swords is where you're stuck in your mind right the knight of swords is just that little step further where you just you cannot go any longer and then the ten of swords shows where this chick lies on the ground and all of these ten swords in her body and she's dead basically she's there's nothing left but before there's nothing left you get to this point where your passion is ignited by this person this partner this sacred union and then you come into the ten of pentacles ten of pentacles is everything you want it's it's all the abundance that you want emotionally spiritually um, financially and the ten of pentacles is the ten that brings it into actual earthly realm manifestation something tangible something you can touch something that is actually happening in your life not just energetically this is something tangible this is something actually happening in the 3d so with this it brings you to your spiritual union your twin flame your soulmate see the infinity symbol there see the, where they connected they connected at the third eye see see there how absolutely gorgeous is this this is a passionate new beginning this is the twin flame card the 11 11 card happiness happy union happy family happy everything this is spiritual union virgo 
this is you getting getting to to spend your life with the partner of your dreams this this is what this is wow this is absolutely amazing I, I can't even go further than this because it's just so amazingly cool I am however going to leave you with two guidance cards or two advice cards shall I say what I'm getting from this as well Virgo is um, with the spiritual union and the partnerships and alliances this is directly linked to your purpose um, <clears throat> I must also be honest with you the main theme of 2020 is actually um, spiritual union um, to actual people man and a woman or doesn't it's not gender specific it doesn't matter but union spiritual unions coming together in the physical that's what 2020 is all about the reason being that this is the year of enlightenment this is the year where we build the foundation 2-2 which is a master builder number and um, add it up it's a four so you see um, the, the foundations the all all of the the stuff that we're building on and the unions that that is coming together has got everything to do directly with your sole purpose um you've got the same mission and by going within and meditating on this that's why your queen of cups will be shown to you that's why your spiritual partner your sacred partner will be shown to you because it's you've got the same mission you've got the same purpose thank you angels please can we have one card for virgo for the month of august please can we have one card for virgo for the month of august please wow guys i'm flabbergasted by your reading hey and, and again look 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 how it cuts it's once again <laughs> so different and we've got ask your angels see go within go and meditate and it's right here go, go and meditate open your third eye meditate so that your angels can show you where you're supposed to go what you're supposed to do who you're supposed to be with well not probably not that that's that didn't come out the way I wanted it to come out but if you go in my goodness okay okay um i'll i'll take those i'll take all of them um wow okay um what 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 you should do is go go in in words go meditate and the person that your heart recognizes and your soul recognizes if you ask for that clarity you will definitely get it definitely there's no doubt so <laughs> what's jumped out here is to focus your mind thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities but what I what I'm getting from this is that focus your mind but look look where it comes from it comes from your third eye you need to like seriously go inwards and you need to focus and meditate because there's there's messages in meditation. There's answers in silence. And look at this. Um, Archangel Orion, manifesting miracles. Thank you, Orion, for manifesting your miracles in my world. And what, what else is this than a miracle? Because this is just absolutely amazing. <laughs> then we've got live your joy. Thank you, angels, for supporting me as I follow my joy. Because where, are you, where and when are you closest to God? Is when you're in joy and last one spiritual gifts Archangel Raziel thank you Raziel for helping me channel my gifts and talents so with this meditation and with opening your third eye I definitely definitely see that you will also stumble onto your spiritual gifts look at the the third eye here on the Krishna as well this this is a very beautiful reading Virgo um, I think you're going to have a fantastic August. Please go within, meditate, find your peace, find your joy. Um, work with your angels, work with your guides, work with source, allow the divine to show you the way because who would not want that? This is beautiful. This is absolutely beautiful. 
Virgo, I wish you a wonderful August. I'm sending you so much love and light and we'll be together again soon.